Hey, it's Bob Inc. here. I just thought I'd pop in and before the video starts here um, and show you, I, I don't really talk about it much in the video here, but um, there are some new uh, blocks that have been added to the game. Um, we've got we got a new cockpit uh, control seat. Um, let's see, so we got uh, so we got the control seat here. Um, it looks pretty cool. It's got the chair here. You got uh, uh, monitors surrounding you here. Apparently, you can't have any legs to sit in it though. Although, well, it looks like it slides back. So, uh, so from here, you got a bunch of screens you can see. You got a couple of uh, red dead buttons there. <laughs> so that's kind of a cool one. Um, and this, I believe, is a. I believe there's a small block version of it. I think. Let me see here. Yep. Okay, so there's. Well, this one's not new. Uh, let me. Let's see here. Um. Okay, no. So you still have the control seat for your small blocks. Um, I do believe they also added windows yeah so you now have um, let's see if I can invert it here yeah you have small block windows now should make a small block uh, why won't it let me place them there there we go so you can actually make a small block um, that's not the right whatever <laughs> Uh, you can actually make a small block, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, cockpit. Uh, you're like a custom cockpit. So instead of having to um, to use like one of the generic cockpits in the game, you know, like uh, that one or, or that guy there. Well, those are large block variants, but there you go. So instead of having to use one like that or that... Uh, you can actually make your own. Um, I don't think they've added small block doors yet, so you can't really make a. You can't make like a true. I don't know how to say it, describe it. You can't make like a true cockpit, like with a door that opens or, or a small block ship large enough to walk in very well. I mean, you still can do that. I mean, it's going to be a huge, pretty big ship, and then you'd have to use like. Uh, uh, what would like the the folding armor walls, but yeah, so you got a couple of new blocks in there. You got the the ATM in the store. It's not new, but you got the small block glass. You got the new um, uh, control panel there. Uh, oh, we got that's the other one. Is um, there are some new graded catwalks. Um, they even got an end block now. So see, it has uh, railings on three sides, which is pretty nice. And let's see, what else do we got? Catwalk. And with a single wall, let's get the straight pieces. Um, you got ones here with like a little half wall. So I don't know if it would be like a... You could put something there, I guess. Uh, they also have... Where are they? They tweak the railings a little bit. Uh, let's see. And you still have the original catwalks. But now you also have these nice railings here. They had railings before, but I think they looked a little different. But you got like half ones, left and rights. You can get uh, some corners. They added a diagonal, which is kind of cool. And a double. Uh, then we got one more thing here is so they got the ladders and they've also added uh, stairs uh, to go with the I mean there were stairs before but now they have um, little half stairs and you still can get the full block stair 
Um, but it, and then you have the the ramp, uh, which I think you can also still get the yeah. There you go. There's the. This used to be the only kind of stair you could have before those railings on this. Oh, I think those are separate. I was like, those railings are weird. So yeah, this is the original stair block and the original ramp block here. But now you can get these single block graded stairs or the half block, half wide graded stairs. So yeah, they've added all kinds of new, uh, kinds of new blocks. You get the control, uh, what they call it, the control thingamajig. Name's drawn a blank on it on me right now. Control seat. And, uh, yeah, then I think they did some little tweaks and stuff like that. And you still got all the rest of the stuff here. Uh, oh, they added a... They added a shower. So you got a shower block now. I think that was added with this. And then, yeah, you have the, the basic bathroom, you know, that's door and everything. But, uh, yeah, so thanks for checking us out. Hope you enjoy the uh, forthcoming, uh, upcoming video here, the follow. We'll catch back up with you during the video. We'll see you later. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode on Hot Cup of Web Gaming. I'm Bob Inc., and we're back with Space Engineers. And we recently launched our satellite into space there. You can see something out there. There it is over there. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, so there's our satellite up there. And we, so we got a clean platform here. So I'm thinking now what we want to do is start work on our two-stage rocket to get up to the space station or the satellite. It's more of a satellite than a station. Um, we'll be able to refuel it or get fuel from it, hopefully should be up there charging hopefully if not maybe we'll bring some parts to add some more solar panels to it because I think it might be kind of light on solar panels in fact I'm pretty sure it's pretty light on solar pa solar panels um, we still got our miners out running um, one's recharging right now but the other one should be off over in the gold there I don't have a uh, an exact plan in mind or anything for this uh, rocket we're gonna make here I'm just gonna I don't know kind of wing it I guess and let's see we're gonna start with a loose small block here and let's drop our start point there we go And okay, let's see. I'm trying to figure out how do I want to get connected here? Oh, we need steel plates. Apparently, I should have filled my inventory up before I came over here. There we go. So I don't want to run into what we did last with the last one, which is it was stuck to the ground and to cut it loose I had to almost tip it over so let's uh, let's see what we can do with this um, let's see if we could put some feet on it here There we go. Oop, wrong one. There we go. Flip ourselves upside down. Right side up. Oop. go must have hit the mouse wheel all right so we got it's a semblance of some feet going here and let's see let's uh let's 
do the same here and here. There we go. Flip us upside down. Rotate. Place. Now, hopefully, when this is done, it will be stable enough to stand without the foot because I might just cut that foot off so that when it is built up it not all the when I, I when I cut the foot that all the weight of the ship isn't sitting on it and then it hits hard and then stuff breaks and then chaos looms reigns supreme <laughs> although it does sound kind of fun there we go all right so this part is going to be the atmospheric thrusters so we need thrusters and it's gonna need batteries and it will need a connector let's uh, pop some batteries in here Okay, and then thrusters. There we go. So the plan being that we'll launch with these, leaving the hydrogen ones off. And when we start to reach the edge of atmospheric thrust, we detach it and they sh we're going to put some parachutes on it and then hopefully it will detach, it'll fall back and the parachutes will open and it will land successfully to which we can then build something to retrieve it and use it again if we want. Not really necessary whatsoever because we can get to space with just hydrogen as we proved with the satellite, but this is fun and the challenge the challenge is not just in building it so it detaches but in uh, building it so that um, it can come back to land and then the challenge is just flying said ship in the with the with the two stages or whatever it's kind of a challenge in itself all right so let's see uh, let's put a row of blocks across here. Um, let's see. Kind of, we're going to be doing, like I said, we're going to be doing some design on the fly here. Um, let's see, need this one. go um, there we go all right getting uh getting the parts put in here uh, is that yep that's right There we go. Then let's finish this bar across here and across here. That's going to help just hold everything together. Gives it just a little bit of protection. Oop, I forgot to put this one in here. There we go. Now this little half block should fit in here, which will finish the corners there we go all right so all that's ready to be welded up um, probably do like I have in the past and do as as much of the welding as I can off camera some of it I might have to do because it won't be reachable when we keep building you know, kind of like some of these blocks here 
they're just not going to be reachable once this thing gets built up more. There we go. Get that one. There we go. All right, so we got four miss large Atmo thrusters, which will hopefully be enough for whatever our pod ends up looking like. Um, I guess the question is, do we do we make it a survival pod? I'm thinking, I'm thinking we do. I'm thinking we put the, what is it, the survival kit on it at the very least so that you can actually spend time in space. Um, you can actually collect ores, some ores, and start to refine them. Alright, so we got that. Um, what it needs now is, uh, let's see, we need to figure out where to put the parachutes and... It needs a collector, or not a collector, a connector. Now, it doesn't really need to store anything other than power. Um, because it's going to detach, so the less stuff on it, the better, obviously. So let's, uh, let's see, we'll put that there. And... We'll stick two parachute hatches on it. We'll put one on each of the sides here. And then that's our connector for the top. And let's, uh, let's see if we can just kind of connect it into the mold here a little bit. Oops. There we go. Um... We'll pop one there. So it does have, you know, if you wanted to, you could store a little bit in here with the connector. Uh, we're going to have to manually pack these parachutes. Uh, which reminds me. I'm going to want to do that. And... Oops, stuck gonna want to get rid of that uh, because we got to be able to reach the connection point on these parachutes and that block there it is gonna be in the way because it'll be on the on the bottom here so there we go there's the the start of our basic launcher it's a little on the small side but we can expand on the top side a little bit so the way I like to do these this isn't my first one is what you do is you put a couple blocks up the side like so and then you take a another connector and so you need to go two blocks above this is with the small blocks because um, the top of the connector is one block so there's one and then you want to go two above that because that's how tall the connector is as you can see and what you do is you flip it over and you put it in the middle here and place it and now what's happening is these bars on the side here are holding it together with the rest of the ship so when we're done what I want to do is you need to cut at the very least these two and these two but you don't want to do that until you turn the connectors on because then when the connectors are on they will uh, they'll hold together after the fact <laughs> alright so this is gonna be the bottom of our capsule 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 ship thingy <laughs> So on the top half here is where we want to have all of our uh, gyroscopes, you know, any remote controls, any any of that stuff needs to be on the top half because you got to remember once you disconnect, you lose all of these. So you don't want any of your vital parts on the bottom half. Otherwise, once you disconnect, 
<laughs> you might not, you know, if you stick your gyroscopes down there, you might not be able to steer your ship anymore. Okay, so we got our connector there. Let's get some. Uh, we're going to need some piping. And we're going to want some storage containers, uh, which are. I still, <laughs> still try to get used to the new setup here. I, I like how they shortened some of the icons, but still taking time to get used to. Okay, so since we're going to have hydrogen on the top half so that it works in space, let's put a connector down before our large cargo box. Or do we want large cargo? Do we want medium cargo? Medium cargo almost sounds better. A little easier to manage on the sides here. Or with the ship building. Um, Alright, so then... Let's see, we need another... Connector there, and we need... We're going to need an O2 generator, which is here. Okay. Now we should be able to attach that here. And then, um, let's see, we want... We need a hydrogen tank. Where's the hydrogen tank? Oh, it's part of this. Okay. So then let's put our hydrogen tank, uh, let's see, we can't put it there. Can put it here. So we're making kind of a longer shape ship here. And let's actually do, let's load this thing up for a good trip. If this thing will place here. Let's go with two of them. Which then, let's put a second oxygen O2 generator on the side here. So we'll have two O2 generators. We got two cargo pods, or storage boxes, cargo containers for now. Might add more, we'll see. We'll see where we get up to here. Um, so we'll be able to put some... Oop, there goes one of our miners. It's always kind of kind of cool to watch. Well, there's both of them, actually. It's always kind of cool to just turn and catch the ships flying themselves at the corner of your eye while you're doing something else. Um, okay, so we got cargo, we got the O2, we got uh, two tanks for hydrogen, which should be plenty. Uh, we're going to need a cockpit of some kind here. I'm thinking... Yeah, that one has the right connection. Okay, so now here's a problem you want to make sure that you're ready for. Is say I place a cockpit like this. And the experienced players will know this, obviously. But this means that the ship forward is this direction. Which means that to launch those thrusters, you're going to have to press the uh, default space bar to go straight up. Um, that also means once you detach them, this is still forward. Uh, which means unless you have a large hydrogen thruster facing downward as well, you're going to lose your downward, your up thrust. Um, what I like to do, make sure I do, is you want to place, I'm not going to use this cockpit, but it's just going to be the example. So that, with it, with it facing that way, that way is forward. But what we want to do is, is you want to flip it so that it faces that way. So now when you get in, that way is forward, which means pressing the forward button for thrust will launch your thrusters at the bottom. Again, this isn't the cockpit I want to use because I'd like to connect it into the ship. So we'll use the fighter one here. And for now, we're going to put that guy there. So turning sideways, you can kind of see... Like, here's our ship, and from here 
down will disconnect, so from here forward is what we'll be left with. So we'll be left with the two hydrogen, the cockpit, the so storage there, and then you know all of our thrusters and the rest of the stuff we need to to add still. Let's uh, recharge our hydrogen bottles and energy. All right, so we're recharged, and so now we, what we need to do is we need to figure out thrust for for the upper half of the ship. And I'm thinking, now we got the two cargo containers here, so what we can do is, let's see if I place them this way, do I want them that way, or do I want them that way, I'm trying to figure out which way I want to place the small ones. I want a large one facing down, so we'll place that that way, and that way. I believe it's the same direction that these ones are going. We can put some thrusters on those and those if we wanted. Okay, so then let's see a uh, hydrogen thruster. So then what I want to do is this. There we go. So that, when we get into space, that'll be our forward thrust. It'll also help us uh, get the last the last gap from the atmosphere to actual space. We'll be needing those. And then, so those are large connectors, so we'll be able to... So what we could do then is ultimately we could do this as well and just balance it out does kind of block our access to those that's all right we'll make do but then uh, we could do some mini, mini thrust here and here and here so that'll give us our down when you're facing forward and we could do the same on this side One, two three Oop. Uh, there we go. So we have up and down, forward and back now. So we still need a left and right. Ooh, we got a unknown signal fall in there. And I'm thinking we might be able to do left and right with these. It's not a lot of them, but... Well, we can do... Okay, so if we do... Let's see, if I bring this in here, and we put them there, if we do this, there we go. Then that gives us three spots, and three spots, so there's six for the, would that be, left thrust, and then if we place, oh, I need some interior plates. Uh, let's see. Interior plate. Grab some of that. We'll grab some more she uh, sh steel plates. I was going to say sheet plates. <laughs> Alright. So then we place those there. We finish placing our thrusters. Now I want to add more. Like I kind of want to add a like I want to add a shell to this. I'm thinking we're gonna add a, probably gonna add some uh, Gatling guns to this thing too, just so it can uh, defend itself or whatever it wants to do. Um, so we're gonna need ore detector, and we're gonna want, you know, gyroscopes, all that. We're still going. Well, we still need batteries too. Dang, I kind of forgot about the batteries. Batteries are to take up so much space. I always got a plan for them. So, all right, well, here's a good spot you can use for batteries here and there. Let's do that on the underside as well. I 
want to make sure that this one got placed in the right direction. Yep, okay. So there's four batteries for the top half, which I th think should be more than enough. <laughs> I'm already starting to lose track with everything all wireframed like this. It looks cool though. Alright, so we've got thrust forward, back, left, right, up, down. Um, we got batteries now. Uh, let's see, we need an ore detector on it. That should be an easy placement. I don't want to put it on the nose because there's a probably use that for some of the guns so we want an antenna on here as well we'll just put that on the bottom here there we go um let's see what else do we want on here let's see if we can negotiate any solar panels I think what would be a good Oh, if I put them here, right there, right? Now I want to go over one more if I can. Okay, let's see. Why do they gotta? Let's see. If I go. Oh, come on, really? Is that not going to be possible? One, two... What are those? Those are three wide. And that should be four, so that should be... Or are these five wide? One, two, three, four... Oh, they're five wide. That's the problem. Okay, so... If, whoop! <laughs> Turn my dampener off there. And we hit the ground. Alright, let's see. If I press the right button here. And we do right there. Alright, now it's not... I don't want... I can't have it on top of the thrusters. Otherwise it'll just melt it off or whatever. Got it tricky to place it. There we go. Alright, so we got so we got some uh, I don't know what you want to call it some recharge built in here and let's see so one two three so I think we can do two more here There we go. Alright, yeah, so we just gotta put that there. There we go. Yeah, so this is what uh, the nose of the ship's gonna look like. But, uh, so yeah, there's a side view. Kind of looks like a dragonfly. I think that's gonna be the name of this ship, the dragonfly. Alright, so we still need parts in here. We need gyroscopes, otherwise we're never going to be able to turn. So let's place those in this protected area we created here. Three might be a little overkill, but yeah, they fit in there nicely, so... Okay, so we have all that... Um, we still don't have a survival kit on here. 
Uh, where is the survival kit? Here it is. I suppose I should have thought of this beforehand. Uh, what kind of connections does it have? It's got one big one and a couple small ones. Um, dang, it's going to be kind of tricky to find a spot for it now that we already symmetricized it. I don't know, is that a word? <laughs> I'm making it a word. Let's see. We Okay, I think I have an idea. Uh, nothing's attached to this, so... Um, and let's get rid of these for now. And pop another one of these in here. And, yep, we want it that way. Then we want... Oh, nice. They got that sorter smaller now. Uh, let's see. Can we do... I can't do a curved pipe. We gotta do one of these frames. Then we can do the curved pipe. Like so. Then we can connect our survival kit. Then we can put the nose of the ship back on here. Maybe. There it goes. Alright, so there we go. So that's connected on there. So we got the storage kit there. We can uh, just run some piping like off to the sides and stuff here. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of coming together here. So we'll have to pick this up in the next episode. I'll probably do some uh, uh, welding off camera here between episodes. But I uh, hope you liked the episode here and uh, Space Engineers on Hot Couple Web Gaming with Bob Inc. And if you like the video, be sure to check out the others, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, we're seeing some nice subscriber growth compared to the first, you know, first open the channel, which is great. Keep it up. I love that. Love seeing it. Love talking to you guys in the comments, you know, bring up any questions, concerns. You know, I try to say something or acknowledge them if i can um so check out the next episode when it comes out and check out our other series if you enjoy seven days to die or cities city skylines um city skylines kind of on hold right now but there are a series of episodes out there for it seven days to die is currently active so be sure to check it out and thanks for joining us and we'll catch you next time see you later